I'm in the mood for dancing, romancing. Ba, 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 da, ba, da. One of the first things we're going to do today is continue our romance with Bogner. And you see right now we're at an affection here of 20%. So we want to go to the romance section, but I think if we do a bit of small talk first, then we might be able to find out a bit more about her. So let's say, does anything give you a hard time? Um, field work makes me insane. So she doesn't like work all that much. It's a nightmare, so don't talk to her about work. So they have different personalities. You need to sort of get to know them a bit. Uh, let's say what's on your mind lately. Um, so like a rock smoking the smooth water. Uh, she wants something to stir her up a little bit. And you just skip stones as a kid. It'd be nice to feel that thrill again. Okay, that's good to know. How's your day going? Uh, so she seemed a bit carefree in that last one she said as well, right? So always so much work, moaning about work again. And uh, she's been... Uh, she's getting sick. Okay, so this is the stuff that we have to sort of pay attention to. Let's go back now and try romance options. Uh, let's go for this. You seem very interesting. Can I ask you something? And let's just see what do we want to ask her. So this seems like a really good one. Work can often get under our skin. What are you doing in your spare time? She doesn't like work, so let's say that. And there we go. We added 5%. That'll do. Any any plus is, is, is a bonus, right? We'll definitely take it. Um, so she says, since drinking is not a hobby, young lady. <laughs> so she likes to drink if she can. But she likes the full round. So she's pretty carefree and stuff. Uh, so now we got a, a bit of a Joey Tribbiani. How you doing right here? And uh, let's see if there's anything else that we can say to her. Okay, so, I mean, none of these sound great. Like, the first one right here is way over the top. Like, you'd get a dude chill if you if you said that. Um, say she's got a nice dress. I don't know if that's going to be good for her. I mean, this one here, I don't know how this is relevant. Sometimes the world just seems pointless. Barren. I want to bleed just to know if I'm still alive. I mean... She did say she wants something to stir things up, but that seems so depressing. I'm just not sure I can say that. I don't know what to say here. I'm just going to go with this one. Let's see how it goes. Okay, added plus 3%. We'll, we'll take it. <laughs> she was happy enough. Uh, do we get another one? We do. Okay, what, what are we going to say this time? We're going to go with a joke here. So we have two options. Do you know what a pig that ran into a bush is called? A hedgehog, <laughs> which is just, it's just so stupid. <laughs> That's like one of my jokes right there. Um, or we can say, do you know why bears would never use swords? Because they always fight with their bare hands. That's kind of good, so I'm going to go for that one. 7%. Oh, yeah, of course, because that's a great joke. <laughs> she liked that one. Um, is it, oh, we can still say more. Okay, what else have we got here? I'm going to go for this one because, uh, I don't know, I, these other two just seem kind of what it's like. This is your voice for hours. Do you sing? Oh, yeah, another plus 7. We're doing quite well here. This is good. Um, I think that's probably it now, yeah. So we just say, uh, actually, never mind, and farewell. So we're up to 42. We added 22%. Pretty good, pretty good interaction right there. But the next thing we're going to do is buy her a gift because that should help too. We know a little bit about her now. She's got that carefree attitude, doesn't like work. So we're going to try and use that to find a gift. Uh, but before we can buy her a gift, we're going to have to sell some stuff. And this is where the linen fabric is going to come into play. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to get into making any clothes just yet. I'm going to sell all of this linen fabric. That'll give us 2800 Now, the reason I'm doing that is partly because gifts are expensive. Um, they're all like at least 500 I think, maybe 750 something like that. I did look uh, at some point before. So in order to be able to afford that, partly. And then also, we'll have that money that we can use on other things. And in the next spring, when we get to that point, that's when I'm going to plant like the hundreds of flaxseed that I've got, do a massive harvest, get loads of cloves, and then we'll be making a ton of money. So let's go into town, sell this, and see what we can buy for her. So I think I found the perfect gift, guys. The, let me see, Malvasia right here. So this is a bottle of expensive wine, perfect for someone who's not afraid of a hangover. It can be given to a woman during flirting. That's what it says. She did say she likes to drink and stuff. It is 1,500 coins, though, and we have 1,499. So do I like get a little bit extra money and spend all this on it? I do think it's a perfect gift. I think I'm, I'm pretty tempted, guys. So I'm going to sell a few cabbage seeds just to get us there. So I could literally sell one, and then there we go. We're at 1,500, and go to the Mal Malavasia. I keep getting that wrong. Let's buy one of those. Okay, she better like this, because if she doesn't, we've just spent all of our money and wasted it. Uh, I guess we go find out. All right, guys, here we go. Moment of truth. So back into the hut here, have a little chat with her, a bit of romance, and I got you a little something. So this right here, press F to gift it to her. Okay, plus 15%. I mean, there's only $100 per percentage, so, you know, it's kind of expensive. <laughs> but she is at now 57%. That's pretty good. Now, I'm not sure how high we need to get that level before. I think it's probably 100, right, before we start going on to the marriage and stuff like that. But obviously, we do want to get an heir. That's that's part of the, you know, dynasty, part of this game. So, you know, that that's going to be uh, what we're going to look to do over time. I did obviously die in the last episode, and a few of you commented on that and said, uh, basically, keep going with the series, which is what I thought and, and what I wanted to do anyway. 
and uh, don't worry about the death part of things. I mean, I'm not doing anything that's outside of what's supposed to be done in the game. Um, it's just they've changed it from, from how it used to be. But we are going to keep going. We're going to keep the series pretty chill because that's what I'm enjoying at the moment, and it seems to be what you guys are too. Uh, but yeah, just to mention that while we're here. Every now and again, I do a recording and forget to hit record first, and that just happens. So just to catch you up on a couple of things, guys, we have now planted the farm here. Um, so what I've done, I've planted wheat grains, and it's about half the farm. It's quite a big chunk here of wheat that's being grown because we are in awesome, so our, our options are limited. That'll be good and profitable. We're going to need the money from that. On top of that, uh, let's see, in the little pot right here, I've put in there some flax seeds. We've got 108, which I believe is the entirety of our farms. So There's going to be one big flax farm once we get to spring. We also need to get 108 fertilizer ready for that, so we're going to try and do that in between now and spring. That's going to be the plan. Whilst I was here, I also named a couple of these guys. Um, so thank you to Alan Cook for your suggestion on names. I'm trying to find the ones that I've named. But if I go into the management section right here, under animals, we now have a hen called Peg, and we have Rob the Rooster. So yeah, thank you for those suggestions. If anyone else wants to suggest names, please do. Uh, on top of that, I went and spoke to Bogner once again. So I'll just have to show you this because I can't go back through it. But if we go to the romance section, oh, what is there anyway? But you see there, uh, affection is 67%. So we got up to 67% there. Two thirds of the way there to the 100, which is what we're trying to get to. And just something that we'll keep working on throughout this series. Are you one of the people I named? No. Are you? Uh, no, of course not. Okay, well, you can see they've been named anyway. Now, I'm just looking at our food, and it's starting to get a little bit low. You can see the demand there is 120 per day. We've got 287, so not even three days' worth of food. And so because of that, I think the next thing that I should do is go and do a bit of hunting, get ourselves a couple of uh, kills, and get a load of meat in that we can cook up and stuff like that, and basically just look after our citizens. So that's going to be my next plan now, to go and do a bit of hunting. Okay, here we are over by the, uh, the well, I guess that's a deer, is it? And let's see if we can hit. Oh, that was just terrible. Let's just cut that bit out. So here we are at our hunting ground. Let's see if we can land a couple shots here. I'm going to try and get ahead of this big dude. Let's see. There he goes. See if we can land one on him. Okay, I might have missed the first one. Let's see if we can get him a second time around. Okay, he's doing well at strafing me. This is getting annoying, but we can chase him down to the river, and now we've got a good chance at them. Okay, we definitely hit one there. He's going to start to bleed out. Uh, let's see if we can hit some more. I mean, I want to take down like, this whole herd, really, if we can just start landing shots on them, because uh, they will bleed out, and they're going to be in this area then. So I'm just going to keep throwing these spears at them as best as I can, and they should all eventually die in this area somewhere. There's going to be a pretty big haul. We might even be able to sell some of this, which would be quite useful. Uh, I'm not sure how many shots I'm landing. I'm landing a few of them. We probably could land some more. Let's see if we uh, go into inspector mode. The spear is now all along this bank, I'm sure. Uh, yes, let's get all those back and then see if we can get some confirmed kills. Yeah, sure we can land a shot on this die from here. Yep, there we go, and he's gone down. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I've got a stone knife on me. Let's go get the spears back and then we'll actually see when we're here. Uh, yeah, we don't have the knife, so we better go get that. What I'll do is go to the map here and just ping our locations. We're just right in there. That's where we're coming back to. And some of these other dudes might also bleed out. Maybe we'll try and land a few shots on them while we're here. Then we can just come find them when we're done. I'm just returning to the village now after a night of hunting. And uh, we took down pretty much the entire herd, I think, plus an eagle. <laughs> Always good. So 96 meat from that, 30 feathers, 37 leather. All up, that is a pretty good haul. And we can sell that. We can use it. Obviously, we went to get the food because we're going to need it for the people in our town. So I'm actually going to go and cook all that stuff up now. But you can see here there are things we're starting to build up a good amount of. So we've got like, the feathers here, the fur, the leather, all that sort of stuff. And this is stuff we can sell if we need to. And we may well need to because we're going to need money for taxes later on. But we're also going to need money for other things like farming and stuff. So we'll see how we go with that. I'm going to do a bit of work through the night now. But pretty good to have all that stuff for sure. Now, as another new day starts here on our Medieval Dynasty world, we're going to try something a bit different today. And I don't know why I'm running that way. Because I actually need to be up here. Because we're going to get on to Claude, our donkey, our noble steed. And uh, let's see. Let's zoom out a little bit. Get him headed in the right direction. Man, I'm so bad. I have... Of like donkey crashes all the time. Here we go, we're out. And what we're going to do is we're going to head to a mine. So if I open up my map right here, I know for sure that near Skalki there is a mine just there. So let's put that and lock that in. And in that mine is iron. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head there and all I'm going to do is just mine the iron and see how much iron we can get. And then when we process that iron, how much money we can get out of that. So I'm testing it out as a bit of a money-making thing, but also the iron will be useful to us. So let's get ourselves prepared, and then I'm going to head off. On the way up to Skalki, just at this crossroads right here, which if I show it on the map, uh, we're just down here. I found one of these things upturned. So we've got uh, some copper ore out of this, as you can see right here. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, and that might be it, actually. We've got some copper ore. But, uh, you know, it all helps. It's all worth something. So, yeah, just thought I'd mention it because... Otherwise, I might mysteriously just be turning up the copper ore. And we are just going to mine the iron in this mine. But 
We'll take that with us as a little extra bonus. Now, I'm noticing here on the left, there is a camp. Looks like a bandit camp to me. So we're just going to ignore those dudes and ride off on our donkey. But good to note that there is a bandit camp up there. Probably something we want to get into soon. I was thinking we could probably do with getting ourselves like a decent crossbow and some arrows and stuff like that and uh, just better weapons and stuff like that. So it's on my mind, but uh, so much to do in this game, which is all part of uh, why I enjoy it. But uh, yeah, it's hard to do everything at once, especially when you're making content as well. Anyway, onwards to the mine. We're not far off now. Let's see how much iron we can get out of this one. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to take the donkey into the mine. Oh, maybe I am. Okay, that's kind of cool. So donkeys fit into the mine. Aha, uh -huh, that's good to know. Uh, now, is there any iron that we can see around here? Yeah, let's, uh, this might be tricky navigating through here with a donkey. Let's see how we go. It's kind of cool, though. We can get our torch out and run around like this, which is quite nice. Uh, I think what we need to do is go down that little ledge. I don't think there's any iron at the top here. I think we go down this ledge, and once you're past that ledge, you can't come back out this way. Yeah, it might have been some iron. I'm not, not entirely sure. I'll have to keep looking. But down here is where I'm talking about. Okay, so there we go. There's some salt right there. It does show up to us on our GUI. Tin right there, but we, of course, are looking for iron. I was going to say, I really hope the donkey fits through there or we could be stuck forever. That would uh, not have been good. Okay, so here's an iron deposit right here, as you can see. So what we'll do, I think we'll just come up here with our donkey and he can stay at this little sort of crossroads area of the mine just here. There we go. I think he's happy enough there. And uh, yep, he's chilling. <laughs> now what we'll do is go ahead and equip our shovel or our pickaxe, I should say. Do a bit of mining and just keep loading up the donkey until he's full. Then load ourselves up until we're full and head home. So I will just kind of get on with this on my own. I don't think it's overly interesting for you guys to watch this. Just me mining. There you go. You only got two iron ore from that. So the iron ores are a little bit stingy, it seems. I'm guessing we'll get two from each of them. We can test it out with this one. But once I've done this one, I'll just cut back to the point when we're done and we'll see how much iron we actually end up with. We got three from that one. That was a little bit better. So there we go. Different amounts from different ones. And hopefully there's a lot of iron in here, but uh, it's probably not going to be like a ton. So we're pretty overburdened right now. So I've just gone ahead and got back on my donkey because we've exhausted... Oh, gone the wrong way as well. Uh, exhausted all the iron in here. So we managed to get, if we have a look here, is it on me? Yeah, 22 iron ore in total, which not bad at all for a first little go. Looking forward now to getting this back home and obviously smelting it down, seeing what we can do with it, whether it's something we're just going to sell and get some money out of, or maybe we're going to make some things out of it. I'm not sure if we even can make things out of it just yet, to be honest, because uh, I don't know if we're at the high enough uh, production level, but we shall see. So, yep, let's go home now and then have a little uh, explore together as to what that's going to be worth. We're back home here now, and I'm just putting everything away into the uh, the chest here, getting things organized. But I'm pretty, uh, it looks pretty promising. You see here, tin ore, that's worth 10 uh, as an ore, and copper ore is worth 8, but iron ore is worth 15. So hopefully it's going to be worth quite a lot when we actually do something with it. Now, whether or not we can do something with it, let's have a look. So we go to the forge here. Yes, we can make iron bars. So let's do that. We can make up 11 iron bars. We'll do that to get us started, see what they're worth, and then if there's anything else we want to do in terms of processing them. With that done, we have 11 iron bars, as you can see here, and they're worth 60. So roughly about 300 coins worth of iron bars just in that, which is actually pretty good. I mean, that'd be enough to like pay our taxes or at least you know help out towards, I should say. And uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. But it, is there anything else we can do with this? Let's have a look. So iron tools, you can see here, we are very, very far off being able to make these in 5,000 technology. We have 161. So yeah, that's not happening for a while. Uh, iron weapons, I'm assuming the same. Yeah, so basically this is just something that we can sell for now, which is still pretty good. You know, it has its use. Obviously, we need money. And uh, that's uh, an option we have for the future is to go and do some mining for uh, for money. Now, I've been continuing my romance with Bogner, but uh, as it is a new day, we might be able to do a bit more. I just need to find her. Not sure she's at work or not yet, but let's see if we can get this up. I think we're at 80% right now, so we're getting pretty close. She's not at work, and it just occurred to me, I think I actually saw her go into this house. Is this her house, and is that her? Yes, it is. So we're going to come, you know, first thing in the morning, we're just going to come in your house and romance you, because who doesn't want that? So romance, yeah, you can see their affection, 80%. So let's see. Uh, what our options are here and maybe we can get that up a bit uh let's just say that to her why not there we go plus five that's pretty good oh she needs time to think about what i've said previously i only said one thing today i'm sure uh okay that seems odd uh but yeah we can't do any more than that okay that's that's a bit strange but 85 percent that's still pretty good uh we'll come back and see her again a little bit later Maybe we can actually do that more than once a day or something. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll have to check on that. Well, it's time to sleep through to a new season, guys. Ending uh, the day and, and the season there. And uh, now we are in winter, as you can see out the window right there. It's going to be nice and cold. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is get things like our fur boots and anything else that we need, like our leather gloves. Where are they? Down here. And put them back on. Now, I believe that uh, our villagers are going to be fine. They already come equipped, ready for the winter. They, they join the town 
with uh, the right stuff. Where where do these go? Hang on a second. I was trying to equip an axe. That's why I was like, what's going on there? Okay, so we put all that in there. And for our normal shoes, where are they? We'll put them back away. Yep, there we go. They can live in there. So that's very good. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about clothing your villagers during the winter. They're just already clothed. As it is a new day, though, I think we can go and speak to uh, Bogdan once again. So uh, on this cold winter's morning, we go straight into a house. Oh, she's not here. Hang on. She's she's hiding from me. Let's see if we can find her. Is, is this her right here just staring off into the wilderness? Is that you, Bogdan? No, no, it's not. Okay, I'm kind of glad because uh, this doesn't seem like the most stable thing to do. Stand outside in the freezing cold, in the snow, just staring off into space. <laughs> it's... Uh, a little odd, to say the least. Okay, is that her? No, that's someone else. Dalabora and Bodsapo. Yeah, they're a little family, aren't they? It's the, they live in here. They've got the fancy house. They're the uh, the town rich people. So, yeah, the only person I can't find is the one I'm trying to find, which is uh, annoying. <laughs> now, I'm noticing here, I'm actually getting cold. Uh, so, before I find Bogdo, it might have been her there, but uh, we need to fix that. I thought I had enough clothing, so I need to look into this. Okay, it is perhaps a case of uh, each year it just gets a bit more difficult. We do have a torch for now, and we can use that to keep ourselves warm. Uh, but yeah, so that might be something else we need to do in a second. I just want to have a chat with her right now. Hey, Bogner. Uh, so romance, how you doing? Yada, yada. Uh, what do we want to say? She's on 85 cents. I've been doing a little bit about this. So let's see what else we can do. Uh, let's call her hilarious. Everyone likes to think they're funny. Oh, that gave us 10%. Guys, we're getting so close to that 100. Um, you know what? I feel like that is probably okay now. It's 95%. Let's try it out. Uh, she's not quite there yet. Okay, so that means I think we have to get 100. Then we say that. That's the mistake I made. Damn, if I said one other thing, we probably wouldn't be okay. Let's just say that. Another plus three. Okay. Um, what else can we say? That. Okay, it went down. She doesn't want to be sophisticated. Oh, my God. That was a disaster day. You know what? We, it's, it's a cold winter's day, and we're getting the cold shoulder here from Bogda. Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to go off into town. We're going to sell some things and see if we can get ourselves sorted here for the uh, winter. So let's grab all these iron bars. We'll sell them. And what else do I want to sell? The copper, we could probably turn it into stuff before we sell it. So maybe I'll do that if we come to the... Is it the workbench? No, it's the anvil, isn't it, for the copper stuff? So let's see. Copper tools here. Uh, what have we unlocked? What do we want to do? Let's have a look. So copper knives are probably going to be the best. We do have to buy them, though, for 150 So I'm going to go sell the uh, iron stuff, then come back here and unlock those because they only require sticks, not logs. So it's just a little bit easier to do that. Um, although they won't sell for as much. Do you know what? Actually, change of plan, guys, because it's two trips to the town if I do it this way. The change of plan is we're going to grab the logs from up in here somewhere. Uh, let's see. We've got, we got a load of logs here. I mean, we don't we don't need that many, so that's fine. We'll do the rest of this copper ore, and we'll make up as many copper sickles. So I think I've already unlocked that as we can. And then we don't have to pay for an extra recipe. That actually, I think, is a better plan. This pig here was just attacking this little chick right here, which isn't Smudge. I'm looking for Smudge. There's Smudge. There he is right there. So a uh, big shout out to Smudge. Smudge, thank you so much for the £4.99 super chat. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, in my native currency as well, I am originally English. I live in Australia now, but I digress. So you are now a chick, Smudge. <laughs> what I've done, we go to management, look at the animals right here. Then you'll see here that uh, on the chickens right there, uh, you're, I named you as one of the chicks because everything else is named like the donkeys and pigs, but at least being a chick, you'll be here for a long time. Now, unfortunately, I just noticed as I was doing this, though, how low everybody's mood is. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why. They they need some, some tools for their jobs. I get that. But this seems like crazy. I know it's winter and, and maybe that's like a slight issue. But... Yeah, everybody's unhappy, so we better get to this pretty quickly. We need to buy some animal feed in town once we've sold what we've sold, but I am a little bit concerned about this. Oh, wait, I figured out, guys, it's firewood. I forgot to get on top of the firewood before winter. We need to do that now, like, as a massive priority, and you can see here the importance of it. So if you're doing this in your worlds, do make sure you get on top of it. It was on my mind. I knew I needed to do it, but I just kind of forgot, but that's why everybody's unhappy. So it's not the tools for their job. It's the fact they're literally freezing to death because it's winter. So let's grab like 20 of those logs. We've got four on us. We're going to literally turn all this into firewood and go from there. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to try and be smart about this. So when we first get here, what we'll do is let's free up the workstation. I'll make firewood. Let's just craft up like three of them for now because it takes time to do that. And once that's done, we can then immediately get that put into the storage area so they can start using it. And once they've used up the uh, firewood, then their happiness will go up uh, like considerably. So, yeah, rather than spending too much time on this, I, d I don't know, you know, how much time we have before they get too upset and leave and stuff like that. But uh, I'm just concerned that if we don't, you know, get this done, it's not going to go well. So let's put all of that in there, and that should start to go away now. The firewood up in the top left, yeah, that's gone away. They're going to remain unhappy, of course, until that gets fixed. 
but they all have their wood. I'm going to make up the rest of it. And yeah, my bad on that one. Drop the ball a bit there with the firewood, guys. I just realized, guys, I'm almost dead. Um, I think from making up the uh, firewood there, because it took some time, my health went down because I'm freezing. So yeah, we really need to prioritize getting some of this winter clothing in. What I'm going to do right now is eat as many of these as we have, which is only five, unfortunately. So that's all of those eaten. Get our health back up a bit. And let's make sure we've got plenty of torches on us. So in fact, do I have a torch in here? And if not, we're going to go make up some more torches because... Yeah, we uh, we almost died there. And as I said in the previous episode, I did die. And you guys said, you know, don't worry about it. Just keep going with the series and stuff, uh, which we're going to do. Even if I die again, we'll keep doing that. But at the same time, uh, we, I don't want to just, you know, take it, uh, take advantage of that situation, as we say. Like, I know that some people have said about how you can basically just use the uh, dying as a way to teleport home. So you could, like, go and mine a load of stuff and then just let a wolf eat you to teleport home. It didn't have to run back or whatever. Um, I won't be doing anything like that, anything that feels a bit cheaty and whatever, but I think given you know the, the way they've got dying in the game is the way that we're following it, we're okay for the rest of it. So there we go, we've got plenty of torches on us just to make sure that we can stay warm as we're running around here, and uh, we'll head into town now and hopefully get ourselves fixed for the rest of this winter season, and obviously the future too. Now that we're at the market, we've sold all of our stuff, let's see what we can buy here. So we've got almost 900 coins. And we're looking at things that we can buy uh, that will keep us warmer. So after looking through, I think the fur hood is going to be what I go for, guys. It's 660 coins, but it will give us plus 12% cold protection. Uh, you could get a hood, uh, give you plus 10, but it's you know not that much extra for the fur hood. And I'm not even sure if this is going to do it. I hope that it will, but let's find out. So the fur hood, let's go ahead and equip that one. And we'll test this in just a second. But whilst I'm here, I also want to speak to this guy and buy as much animal feed as I can. So let's see, we can buy we can buy 11 animal feed. Now, in the top left of my screen, if I just escape out of this, you'll see there that it's saying we need 14 animal feed. So I don't know if the 11 is quite going to cut it. I'm not sure if that 14 is, is literally like 14 animal feed needed or like 14 animals that need feeding. And maybe like one feed can do two animals or something like that. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see about that. Now, the other thing I want to do is just quickly test out and take the torch away for a second. As I'm walking around here, do I now get cold or not? That's the question. But I've got to be careful here. As you can see, my health is quite low. So if we do start to take, uh, if we start getting cold, then we're going to need to quickly get our torch back out. So definitely some challenges here, but obviously all part of the game. Um, it's, it's good that it's not simple just after your first year. The fact that it takes years to, you know, get yourself to a point where this stuff becomes easier. And the fact that this winter is like more difficult than the last one and stuff. So yeah, now at the moment, I'm not taking any damage here. So we seem to be doing okay. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're not getting cold, so hopefully that stays. Now, what I want to do is, if we go into here, we've got three different types of animals to feed, right? We've got the chickens, the pigs, and the donkeys. So, for the animal feed, we kind of want to split this into three. So, let's take, uh, well, let's put all of it in there for now. So, at the moment, we'll take out, uh, we can take out four. And let's see, probably most important to keep alive is the donkeys. They're probably one of the most expensive and also the most used. So, let's go ahead and fill that one up with what we've got. So I'll put four animal feed in there. We'll see what that... Uh, so that number's dropped down now to 11. Interesting, so that's only two donkeys. Uh, so what we'll do now is get some more animal feed here. And again, we'll take another four. And this four can go to... Let's do the pigs, because they're also quite expensive. So put the, the money in there, uh, or the, the feed in there, but that's, you know, because the pigs are expensive. See what that 11 drops to. Still nine. Okay, and then all we've got left now is these three here. We put these three in with the chickens. And let's see what that number drops down to. So that's going to go down to what? Let's see. Only three animal feed in there. Okay, it's gone because that's all nine chickens being fed. But yeah, this isn't going to last us very long. I'm going to need to start making some money through the winter. But hopefully we've at least sorted out the problem with us uh, getting cold with the new clothing that we've now bought. My plan is that for the winter period, we're going to do a lot of mining. Now, I also want to plant some carrots. They're the only thing you can plant during winter. And we do have a lot of seeds. But I'm not sure if we have the fertilizer for it. And I might just need to wait and save my fertilizer for when I really need it, which is to plant the flax seeds, which is going to be in spring. So, yeah, whether or not we actually put a crop in the ground this season, I'm not sure. But what I think I'll do is just do a lot of mining through this winter season. And that way we can get ourselves some money. And then each new day as well, we'll keep romancing and try and get that side of things sorted out. 
So, uh, you yeah, know, we're making progress. Um, it is it is difficult, and we do have to be careful here. We've got pretty low health. But uh, hopefully after the next couple of years of doing this, then we'll get to a stage where this won't be a problem each year. Back at the tower now, and you can see we've got over 100 of the copper ore right here, so that's pretty good going. Uh, we've got over 500 stone, notes, uh, stone now, I should say, as well. Um, not that it's worth much, but it'll be useful for builds and things. And we've got some tin ore as well. So what I'm going to do now is spend a lot of this night just uh, processing all this uh, copper ore into bars and stuff. Let's get that on so we can see what we're doing here. Oh, hey there. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do for money at this stage of the game. Today could be the day that we propose to Bogner. Is that a name? Bog, 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 uh, something like that. But anyway, we're dirty right now. So we need to make sure that we come down here and uh, wash first. Can't be proposing while we're dirty. I'll have a drink, a little bit of not quite Dutch courage because it is just water. But there we go. We should be good now to go and propose. Uh, actually, <laughs> to propose to the woman whose name I don't know. Um, is this her? No, I don't even actually know what she looks like and recognize her face. So, you know, just no one tell her that. I think we should be fine. Uh, now, is that is that her wandering off into the wilderness? Uh, like she's about to run away from the town? Please don't run away from the town. We, we need to get married, uh, potentially, because if I go to romance, uh, you know, all that stuff. 100% guys, 100%. So I think if we click this now, she's going to say yes. Let's see what we say. Uh, you had me at hello. Well, I didn't. I had to spend $1,500 and a load of other stuff on you, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, it's so embarrassing now I realize you didn't even say hello. Didn't say that. Can we start over? Yes, let's get married. You've made me the happiest man. Well, there's only one option there. That seems a bit unfair. I, you know, I wouldn't go that far, but um, we'll let her believe it. Uh, oh, look at this, guys. We get a, an interesting animation. Oh, this is the ceremony. Uh, that must be the, the vicar or whoever it is that's marrying us. And the refreshments are flowing. <laughs> A good medieval festival under two trees. That winter cleared up nicely for the wedding, didn't it? We had a nice sunny day. They're not not sure where on this map we had that wedding, but uh, hello, wifey. Hello, hello. My so if I talk love, to you now, you're here. Um, can you move a little? Uh, how do we do children? Like if I go, um, I think we're ready to have a child. Should we, should we take the step? Why not? We're married now. It's medieval times. Before one of us dies of something ridiculous. Uh, now we're talking hot stuff. Oh, meet me at our house at 7 p.m. and I'll rock your world. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting it. Have a nice day. Did they talk like that in, in medieval times? I mean, uh, all right, wifey, let's go. Ooh, oh, I didn't mean to hear. That's goodness, domestic violence on the first day. I um, got a bit excited. That I really wasn't. That, that response from her absolutely threw me. Um, but I think that's actually a really nice place to... Let's end this episode as a couple. We're a couple now, guys. We're going to end this as a couple, and in the next episode, you now have something to come back for. Hey, I'm trying to end the episode here. Work with me, girl. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to have a baby. Um, I'll, I'll make sure that's the, the start of the next episode. And uh, boy or girl, what do you reckon, guys? What are we going to get? Let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching, though, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.